wanted to perform a sum of products to write a sum of products expression for a given truth table and then also build it using logic gates using multi-sim. So here's my example. I have a truth table with three Boolean inputs. I labeled A, B, and C. I have all the combinations. I'm using zero for low and one for high. And I have all the combinations from zero, zero, zero to one, one, one. There are eight combinations. And here's just some particular output that I'm, you know, saying I'm interested in. And so in the sum of products, we are going to uh, focus on the ones of the output and write expressions for those. The expression will be a product expression for each, for the rows, which are ones, we're going to write a product expression, which is an and, and then we will make a sum of them, but only of the ones. So here's an Here's a row that has an output of one, and we want to write the and expression for it. And it is going to be A, B prime, C prime, in that uh, we want an anded expression that would produce, uh, take these inputs, one, zero, zero, A is one, B is zero, C is zero, and produce an output of one for this row, and only this row, using an and expression. So an and is uh, gives a one only when all the inputs to the and are one. So we're going to take the zero from B and we're going to prime it. We're going to invert it so that at zero before it gets to the and gate will be turned into a one by the not by the prime. And the similarity for the C, the zero will get inverted by the prime and then when it reached before it reaches the and gate it will turn into a one and then we will have reaching the and gate three ones and that will produce a one in this row and every other row it would be a zero so again when when the input was a one we keep the letter as it is when the letter when it's a zero we prime it we're writing a product expression here there's another way to do things called product of sums, but we're right now we're doing sum of products. So this is a product or an anded expression that involves all three inputs and is uh, we are only doing the outputs. We're only worried about the rows for which the outputs are ones. So the next one down here, this one is A, B prime C. So the A being a one is as is, the B being a zero gets inverted, the C being a one as it is as is. And then the final one was A, B, C. Only the three where the outputs were one do we care about. And then these are our products and we're going to make a sum of them. So I'm going to write it down here. ABC. I'm just going to write ABC plus ABC plus ABC, and then I'm going to slap in my primes. But I am making a sum of those products, and by sum in Boolean we mean or. And the but then the, that first term, the B and the C were primed, and the second one, the B is primed, and the last one, none of them are primed. Now this expression can be simplified, and but we're not interested in that. That. Uh, that that is a, a different problem than what we're doing right now. The problem we're doing right now is just getting an expression and specifically the sum of products expression. So we find the product, we focus on the ones, we write a product that for that row would give a one, and then we make a sum of them. And by sum in Boolean language, we mean or. And this is also known as finding the min term. Okay. So now we would like to build this or find the, the sort of expression in. So this is a Boolean expression. Now let's do it in terms of uh, gates. So I have sort of pre-built this uh, electronic uh, multi-sim file known that I call switches, which is just switches A, B, C, and D, which are connected, can be connected to the high end of the battery or the low end of the battery down there to the ground. So this is zero volts, this black, and this red is five volts. So there's a high and a low, and the switch can be switched back and forth. Right now it's high, then it's low, 
So the A input can be made either high or low. Then each input A, B, C, and D are also inverted. So I have access to A, A prime B, B prime C, C prime D, D prime. I will not need all these. I didn't even have a D input, so I certainly don't need that. But I said, sort of had this switches file pre-made, so I'm not going to sort of take take things away because it's sort of a useful file. You can squeeze it in here, but let me make a little bit more room of right-clicking in sort of empty space, which gives me uh, the properties. I'm going to work with properties of the workspace, and I'm just going to make it a little bit taller. Let's maybe go to 10. That made the space a little bit bigger. I'm going to highlight uh, these junctions down here in the ground, pull them down a little bit. Uh, it was hitting the arrow key to pull them down just to give myself a little bit more room. And then we see our expression here. It has it involves three, three input ands. So I'm going to go to Miss Digital and, and the TIL and then uh, here is the three input hand gate. And I wanted three of those. And then there happen to be three terms that I am summing or oring in this case because it's Boolean. So I want a three put or gate. And then I finally, I want a probe. So I'm gonna go here to indicators and then hit probe. And I like a uh, color. So I don't like, I don't like the first probe but I like one of the colors. It's easier for me to see whether it's on or not connect the OR to the probe, so that's the output. I'll see, be able to see the output and connect the ANDs to, the ANDs are gonna be the products and the OR is the sum of those products. So this is the summing. And then uh, I need to connect the inputs that I want. So I want to this AND gate, I want A, which is this first blue. Remember, it's A, A prime, B, B prime, C, C prime, D, D prime going across. And next I want B. So that is this red, sorry, B prime I want. A, A prime, B, B prime. And then I want uh, C prime, which is this. A, A prime, B, B prime, C, C prime. So this was A, B prime, C prime. Next I want A again, so the blue again. B prime, so that's the same as it was above. But this time I want uh, C instead of C prime. One more time, I'm not simplifying. This would simplify, but we're not simplifying. That's not the question at hand. And the last one was A, B, C. So it was A and then B and then C. It was A, A prime, B, B prime, C, C prime. So again, this could be simpler. I don't need the D. I never used the inverse of A, so I don't need this. I never, I never touched this wire. I never touched this wire. I never touched this wire. So I could get rid of some wires. And then there's some more additional simplification. But that's not our, that's the job for another day. The, the, this was, let us find a sum of product. We focused on the ones, we are given a truth table. We focus on the ones, that the outputs that are ones, those rows, we write our end of expression for that row. If it's a one, we leave it as is. If it's zero, we prime it. All of our inputs appear. And uh, when we have all of our uh, out, all of our expressions for rows where the outputs are ones, then we sum those together or put them into an OR gate. So here was the, Boolean expression. Here is the realization in terms of gates. That's what I wanted to show you. So thanks much for listening.